Hey y'all and welcome back. I wanted to make this video because I have gotten several comments on my last video that I uploaded yesterday of me and my mom. My son was saying that he was my boy and not my mom's. I didn't think it was really that big of a deal at the time. My mom would ask him, are you my boy? Are you my boy? And he was like, no, I'm mama's or I'm mommy's is what my three-year-old son was saying. I didn't think it was a big deal at the time, but my mama later on that day, she started crying and I was really confused why she was crying, but she said that she was very upset that my son was saying that he was my boy instead of hers. And I got a few comments saying that my mom was not being fair about feeling that way. She was making it uncomfortable for me. And I just kind of wanted to address that and also kind of give my perspective on what happened. And just as someone who, like just from the mom's point of view and versus the grandma's point of view, so in the middle of this, I asked my mom, well, I love you. Is that not enough? And she said, no. And I'll be honest and say that did hurt my feelings. And it kind of surprised me because I think a lot of times grandmas forget that the mom to their grandkids, their daughter, is still their daughter. But one thing I've just kind of accepted is the fact that once you have kids, People really don't really care. People aren't really that concerned about the mom. I pretty much learned with my first that throughout your entire pregnancy, everyone focuses on you and how you're doing and also your baby. But once you give birth, though, a lot of times, everybody just focuses on the baby and how the baby's doing and not the mom. That's just how it is. I want to talk about why my mom feels this way in her point of view but I can't really speak for her point of view but I can just tell you how it is my mom is extremely involved with me and my kids she has helped me so much our baby girl's nursery would not be anywhere complete like it is without my mom and that's the truth I asked other people for help and they would not help me at all and me being pregnant it was a little hard for me to do things so I am so grateful for my mom and when I was pregnant with my son she was there for me the whole way I, when I was halfway through my pregnancy with him I had not got a single thing and she told me don't you worry we're gonna get you everything you need you don't have nothing to worry about and that's how my mom has always been this car that we're sitting in right now that I drive is my mom's car that she said that we can share and that's just the way my mom is she's just so good to me and she's so good to my kids if y'all see in our vlog she's always getting my kids like new clothes new shoes anytime they need anything I know my mom will get it for them she has always been there for me she went to every one of my daughter's appointments and you can really tell who cares about you when you see who's really there for you? My mom has been there for me through everything. She went to every one of my daughter's appointments. She was there for the birth. She has been there for me after the birth. Of course, she does work a lot. So she's not here every single day. I wish she was. I really do. I wish that we could live together and... That would just be so wonderful. I, you, you just have to understand the situation of how involved she really is with my kids. And that she does love me. And like yes, it hurt my feelings. But I'm used to it by now. That's just the way it is. Let me know y'all's thoughts in the comments below. And... If you're a grandma, tell me how you feel about this. And if you're a mom, tell me how you feel about this. Or anybody can tell me how you feel about this. Because I'm very curious. But that's just my thoughts on it. I'm just used to it. And I don't 
think that my mom is toxic or anything like that. I just think that she really loves my son a lot and she loves my daughter a lot and she just wants them to love her a lot and she wants them to be excited to see her. She's a very important part of their lives and I really appreciate that so much. That's why I have to accept it. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching this video. And I have some videos coming up that I really want to talk to y'all about. Some things that's been going on. But thank you so much. I also have an Instagram at MorganFamily underscore YT. If you want to follow me there, send me a message. And I guess I'm going to go now. Bye.